Uh, by the way, if you're looking for a nice Valentine's Day dinner with your significant other, or maybe a stranger, now's the time to start making your reservations. And whether you want to go out or have a romantic night in, there's plenty of options in our area. There she is. Hi, Kaylani. Hi. Food writer for the Philadelphia Inquirer. You do great work. Thank you for joining yes, us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me and letting me gush about some really romantic spots for Valentine's Day. And attention to detail with a red sweater. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course. Right on theme. It, how do you say this name of this restaurant? Because I've not been there. Is it S Sagami? S Sagami. You are correct. Yes. In Collingswood is this delightful sushi restaurant. And if you love sushi, Sagami is the place that you have to go. Mm. They have been open since 1974. So they have a lot of experience in sushi. Uh, but I recommend trying the Chirashi Bowl because it's a little bit of a taste of everything. It's got octopus, it has salmon, tuna, shrimp. Now, no, Valentine's Day is actually on a Monday this year. A lot of restaurants are closed and Sagami is no exception. So you're going to want to go Valentine's Day weekend if you want to hit up Sagami yeah, for Friday Valentine's or Saturday. Day. That's a very good mm -hmm. point to yeah. think about some restaurants are closed in those days. Okay, Mike needs to find a place and he's kind of fancy. We we're talking like seven courses. Where should he go? Oh, River Twice on oh, East Pass Young Ave. Sure. They always have something really fancy going on. They have really inventive dishes. Uh, you have to definitely reserve this quickly. There's only a few more tickets available. It's 150 uh, per person, but it's because you're going to have, like like uh, Alex had said, you're going to have seven courses. So the chef, he oh, hasn't finalized courses. the menu just yet, but he says expect heaping helpings of caviar and fancy oysters dressed Ooh. to the nine. We all, right, all I, know what they say about oysters. Oh, no one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, lark, I've never heard of. Oh, well, Lark is relatively new. Uh, it is a lofty rooftop restaurant that overlooks the Schuylkill River in Bala Kinwood. Uh, this is, again, another spot for people who really love seafood. Uh, for Valentine's Day, they're going to have a chef's tasting menu. Uh, a little less expensive than River Twice. It's $125 per person. But you can expect things like bluefin tuna, roasted scallop. Uh, there's going to be a dry-aged beef uh, that's on the menu and a lot more. And to set the mood, they're going to have a pianist playing live music oh, throughout I the love dinner that. service. Oh, that's great. Yes. yes, we like that. Okay, what about Italian food? You got to have some good Italian food, right? <laughs> Yes, if Italian food is your love language, head to Bardia in Wilmington. Uh, they were a James Beard semifinalist for Best New Restaurant in 2019, so you know it's very, very good. Uh, the customer favorites include a burrata Pop-Tart. Burrata is kind of having a moment. Uh, it has fennel, which is a delightful vegetable, has like a very nice anise flavor to it, uh, along with a sweet jam. And they also have a bay scallop with strawberry, oh, basil, yeah. and pistachio that looked good too that dessert looks good um all right now i love taco revolution we've been there actually mm -hmm. together revolution taco would uh, revolution taco um is that okay if i take you to a taco place if you love tacos you love tacos all right, yeah, that's true yeah, I mean, if you love tacos, uh, this is, you know, the spot to go to. For folks who want to stay home and want to do like a takeout situation, Revolution Taco is offering a Valentine's Day wow. surf and turf taco kit for two. So for $60, you get grilled steak, fried shrimp, a pineapple salsa, guacamole, and all of the fixings to make like really loaded tacos. Uh, and really those, fun. Yeah, like make your own and you yeah, do it together. I think I might do that. Yeah, it's uh, a fun activity. Kehlani, um, I don't know if you have it, but you should have your own television show about food, and I do see an Emmy. Have you done TV? Uh, well, yes. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on Fox, but I'm the host of Check, Please, Philly on WHYY. No, you can't say that. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> no, I love them over there. You asked. <laughs> That's a great well, thank TV you, station. yes. Thank you. Yeah, we do uh, talk a lot about restaurants over there. <laughs> do well, they uh, know you're cheating on them? Ooh. I think so. Well, they know now. <laughs> I don't think it's cheating. I'm around town. Like, I write for the Inquirer. I've been in Billy Penn. I'm She's like, I go around. around. Yeah. <laughs> she, why tie yourself to one? Kaylani gets around. <laughs> well, KY, uh, what's the name of the station? W H Y Y. They're one of our neighbors. They're basically around the block. That's true. Oh, yeah. yeah we're like right down the street from you. <laughs>
Thank you for these recommendations. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. We should do something with her once a month. She's great. It was really good. Are you going to make her become exclusive, though, to do that? Or no, are you going to no, no. let her see other people? I will let her wow, see other people. Wow, you really matured when it comes to relationships. Months. Well, public television. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. now, they, I see public television. They have. I watch their music shows a lot. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's lovely. And they have good programming for children. Clean it up. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> obviously.